Purdue Farms announced that it completed the final step away from the routine use of any antibiotics in its chicken production by eliminating all use of animal-only antibiotics. According to company chairman Jim Purdue, no antibiotics ever is the only claim we promote to consumers because it answers all their questions with clarity and transparency. Purdue's announcement comes two years after the Salisbury, Maryland company became the first major poultry producer to stop routinely giving its chickens antibiotics also used in human medicine. With this latest milestone, Purdue says it will continue to increase the availability of its No Antibiotics Ever products. For more on Purdue's progress and ABF poultry production, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. In other news, Alaska announced it cut its Bering Sea snow crab quotas. Here's Seafood News Editor Michael Ramsang with the story. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game announced that the Bering Sea snow crab fishery would open, but with the lowest harvest TAC in 45 years. The fishery will open October 15th with a catch of 21.57 million pounds. The catch set for the fishery this year clearly shows that the survey data was barely above the minimum legal threshold to have a crab season. Snow crab prices are already at record levels and there is no prospect that the crab fleet will be able to make up the cut in revenue through price increases. These extreme crab cutbacks in Alaska at, come at a time when stocks elsewhere are also under pressure is going to create a real headache for buyers in both the U.S. and Japan. Sign up for SeafoodNews.com to read our entire snow crab story and get premium crab market news quotations and analysis by subscribing to Ernerberry's Comtel. Thanks Mike. Now we'll take a look at Ernerberry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and and institutions. Here's marketing assistant Nicole Christie with the latest movers of the week. Chicken breast meat values are trending lower. Supplies far exceed current orders and sellers are discounting their offerings to keep product moving. Slaughter is advancing at a time of year when demand typically retreats. Not only is there more chicken that's available, but there's more pork and beef as well. And everyone's competing for the same consumer dollar. In the pork market, retail items have been discounted substantially in reaction to robust production figures and patient buyers in midst of the down market. Bone-in product has been particularly weak as the resources required to keep pace with current slaughter rates have been lacking. As a result, bone-in loins declined nearly 7% last week. Steak cuts continue to weaken as cheaper proteins and traditional seasonal roasts garner much of the attention. Strip loins fell almost 9% this week and appear to be a good value when compared to ribeyes for HRI operators. Thanks, Nicole. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to Ernerberry's Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Afsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Afsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.